How's it going everyone? Apex Gaming here and welcome to this week's Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate Mix Set video. For this week we are focusing on one of my favorite weapons, the Charge Blade. Uh, for one set we will focus on the super stylish but effective aerial style. And second we will showcase a set for alchemy, one of Generation Ultimate's newest and most interesting styles. So let's dig in. For the aerial set, we are packing Sharpness Plus One, Load Up from the Barrage Earring, Bitter Affinity, which I'll dig into a little bit, Artillery Novice, and Airborne, which is also known as Aerial Attack Up. Uh, charm wise, the most minimum that you could do to pull this off would be a Artillery 4 triple slot. Uh, I'm currently using a Artillery 6 double slot, so it works. But to be honest, you don't really. Um, Artillery Novice is sort of optional, I mean it's good to have for this set, but if you don't have the charm, um, you can, you know, customize and make a version of your own. Uh, skills I would really recommend would be adding Razor Sharp, maybe adding uh, Sharpness Plus 2, or even Stamina Recovery, that way you don't have to worry about Stamina Management. Now, if you are new to Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate and didn't experience aerial style in Generations, or you did play it and you just never used the style, um, Ariel got a considerable buff in Generations Ultimate. In the previous game, if you charged your shield, you could only do the Ultra Slams in the air, which isn't really optimal in terms of DPS. And if you just did single file attacks with an uncharged shield, you just sort of lacked that extra umph that you got from the charge shield bonus. But in Generations Ultimate, they changed it. Now you can charge your shield and do single and ultra slams at your pleasure, which comes hand in hand with my favorite uh, skill and hunter art combo, load up and the over limit level three. Again, if you are new to the Generation series, I know at this point I sound like a complete broken record, uh, but the load up skill functions a lot different compared to For You and Monster Hunter World. Instead of gaining a extra file, it recharges your uh, files really quickly, and I'll give you guys an example. As you can see, the yellow charge will give you five files instead of three and a red charge will give you a whopping astronomical 10 files and that's only if you have over limit level 3 activated. So for aerial style you just need to do two aerial attacks for a yellow charge and three for a red. This leads to a crazy amount of aerial file attacks and if you're feeling a little crazy you could drop a 10 file nuke on a monster which in most cases will knock them out or kill them. Now I know some of you may not feel the whole reverse crit or bitter affinity, and so I threw together an optional armor set, uh, which pretty much works the complete opposite. With this, you will need my favorite charge blade, the Akentor Severance, maxed out, and a Sharpness 5 triple slot, which isn't hard to get at all anymore. Uh, with the armor pieces and skills together, you will sit at a natural 75% affinity and be able to slam crits all day long. So with the aerial set complete, let's move on to the other armor set, the Alchemy Charge Blade Mix Set. Now this armor set and style has a lot of new features and skills, and I'll do my best to explain and point out the best methods of utilizing it. So first off, charm wise, you're gonna need a Sharpness 5 triple slot, and the weapon of choice, preferably, would be the Mantis Charge Blade for the sharpness, defense boost, and the raw power it gives. But honestly, anything with a slot should do just fine. So taking a look at the new skills, like endurance or chance, uh, this is a very interesting skill. When you take damage, not only do you gain hunting art gauge, but it also benefits alchemy and valor style. It increases the meters for both of them. Uh, making this a very versatile skill. Uh, Prolong SP or Longer SP is a alchemy only skill which extends the time of SP state once you activate it. 
So with this set, you have a nice balance of skills. And the best thing about it, this uh, mix set works with any weapon, not just charge blades. So take that in mind if you want to um, try out alchemy style. The best thing to do when starting a hunt with alchemy style is to aim for a level three charge and acquire the alchemy booster. This potion is incredibly valuable for an alchemy user. Uh, from my experience, not only does it speed up the gauge, but it also increases the crafting speed in which I'll show you here. I used to think reaching SP level four in regular hunts was next to impossible, but thanks to the booster, it helps a ton. Overall, Alchemy is a really fun style to play and is turning into one of my favorites. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this week. I'm going to go ahead and make a poll in which I'll let you guys uh, choose the next weapon in which I'll uh, try to create a mix set for. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, be sure to shoot me a comment and I'll get to you as soon as I can. This is Apex Gaming and to all of you, happy hunting.